say this before. Well, where exactly are we? We're in the Guinness factory in Dublin. The Guinness factory in Dublin. See? Oh, wow. It's really far down. <laughs> Let me hold on the camera a little bit more for this one. Okay. Straight down. Wow, well, yes, this is where we are. We just ate food. Um, good food, actually. Oh, sandwiches and soup. Good. Did, 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 did soup? you get the cookies? The cookies. The cookies were amazing. Yes. I mean, they were like thick and sugar cookies. Yeah. But it was like soft but not gooey. I, hey, Seth. I, What's up? I'm gonna pass out. Oh, don't go. Like have, you been, have you been drinking all the all the Guinness? It's <laughs> <laughs> that parade. Oh, the parade? Well, you got the best of me. That, is there a best part of you? Probably not. But I heard something interesting. Wait, wait, what's interesting? That the middle part of this structure here is shaped like a pint of Guinness. Like the bottom part is bigger than the middle part is better and then it gets big again, like a, like a glass. Hmm, interesting. Have to check that out. I sure will. You should go film the hand dryer. The ha film that? I've been told to go film the hand dryer like four times now. And so I'm quite curious as to what this hand dryer looks like. Maybe a little Stay tuned. Okay, here's this big, tall, pointy thing that we we didn't see until we rounded a corner on the parade, and we still have no idea what it really was. But it was tall. There's um, Dublin. There are the um, well, they're not stills, that's for sure. There's St. Patrick's Cathedral, but sadly it was covered up in scaffolding this year. So, howdy guys. Hello. JW looks like the most excited person to face the planet. Are we on camera? Yes. There we go. Okay. So this is Matt. Matt has just told me, like, like four other people have, that we have to catch the hand dryer in the bathroom on camera. Life changing experience. So we are about to head in there, and the next thing you're going to see is whatever makes this thing amazing. And I've never filmed inside a bathroom before, so this will be a first for me. It might be a little bit awkward, but let's go do it. Okay, let's go do it. Okay. Ready? Here we go. On. Ready? Wet hands going in. Draw slowly out. Dry. How, what, look at that. That is awesome. So the band's about to perform here uh, in just a few minutes. So I'm hoping we can get them on camera. And we're waiting up for now for the band to uh, get all their instruments, go downstairs, and we're going to film this. Awesome. I was just discussing a story I told earlier to Susan from this little girl at the parade who wanted me to get her on TV. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to pretend to be me filming the balcony, which will be up there, and then Susan's going to play the part of the little girl behind me. But instead of actually pointing the camera at the balcony, I'm going to point it behind me as if I'm looking up there and she's behind me. So you ready for this, Susan? Okay. So parade's going on and I'm filming. Excuse me, sir. Can you put me 
feel the telly. <laughs> hey, Jake. How you doing? Kind of tired, honestly. Why are you tired? So we just marched an eight-hour parade. An eight-hour parade? I, I'm estimating. Yeah, eight hours. Eight full hours. And then, all right, so uh, we're going through the parade like you do, and um, we are these two Irish guys, and the first one's like, this is the college group, right? And another one's like, yeah, these are the legal ones. <laughs> and goes back, they're hot. <laughs> I, I felt sexy. <laughs> Did you feel sexy? Actually, no, I didn't really have that issue. There was a group of people screaming War Eagle Roll Tide at me, like when we stopped. So I just broke attention and turned and was like, hey, six in a row, and kept walking, and they all screamed and thought it was hilarious. So. Okay, so right now we're leaving Guinness, but we're going to like the bottom, like, lower levels of Guinness. We feel all special. But the one thing that almost everyone I talk to can agree with in coming to this place is that when you kind of walk in the front gate, you feel, you have this feeling of like, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory of like yeah. you're coming into like this uh, strange where you're expecting that you know they go into a room so that's the beer room that yeah. you know everything's made of beer. I didn't see uh, the beer Oompa so that's kind of depressing. Were you wanting to see little scary people yeah. running around singing songs kicking you out? Yeah, kind of. Okay, Jake is a special person. Have I mentioned that? <laughs> so here's the gates into Guinness, and here's the factory. And does that not give you like this kind of Willy Wonka esque? Here, so, since we're leaving, you're not getting the full experience. Let's try going in. Going in. And do you not feel like you're going into Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory? I mean, look at this place. Well, that's the end of Guinness. Talk to you later. Bye.